The kind of way that we are dressing is not in accordance to God's word. And we will know and come to understand when we read scripture that the way that we are reading that there is no authority in God's word that is giving you the right and the privilege of dressing the way that we are dressing. Notice that David, a man of God's own mind, if a man like David that nakedness could have such an effect. The exposure, or the, 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 the exposure of the skin of the opposite sex could have such an effect upon a man of God that the Bible says that David um, had a heart, or had a heart like God. If David could commit adultery and actually murder as a result of looking upon the nakedness of a woman, what about you and me, Prince? Do you think that you can look upon a man or look upon a woman or look upon their nakedness and it has no effect upon you? You might believe what you want to believe. They say believe, kill, and believe, cure. Some might believe that it doesn't have no effect upon them. But I submit to you, brother, it has an effect upon the cordiality of men and it's not something that it should be praised. Notice what I like what Job says. And he says in the book, The Power of a Positive Norm, what is the explanation of such passive acceptance of the present moral mess in our society by church people? We do not speak out or take strong stand because our own convictions are too weak and we do not have the courage to practice what we preach. This is why religion has failed to impact or change the eroding morals of this spiritual and backdrop generation. Too few Christians are committed enough to make, to take consistent, uncompromised stands against the social evils of the day. We cannot stand in the strength of a positive no because our own weak will are not fully persuaded to give up the pleasures of this world. Mm. Isaiah 58 and verse 1 says, if we all want men, we need to cry aloud and spare not. We need to blow the trumpet and reveal unto the daughters of God their sins, unto the house of Jacob their sins. Friends. We need to let people know Amen. we are the reason, friends. We are the ones. We are the one why this world is living and behaving the way they be because we're not speaking out. And we have become just like the world. We're dressing under the world that we have gone into bed with the world, doing worldly things, and the world has crept into God's church. I remember I went to the, to the jail house to look for a friend of mine who was, in, who was in prison. And some of his friends went along, and there were two ladies that came with us. And one was in the shorts, and one was in the mini. And they would not allow them to go in because they said that it would excite too much, uh, too much attention from, from those who are in. They haven't seen women and the nakedness of a woman in such a long time that this would just excite the men in the jail, that the, the, the children of this world are wiser than children of God. They realize the effect of the exposed skin of the opposite sex has upon the carnality of men, but we are in denial as if that it doesn't do anything. And we can come into God's church dressed any kind of way and the jailhouse of, of standards, friends. What about God's house? What about God's house, friends? We want to ask a question. And we need this question to be answered. What does the Lord consider as nakedness? And let us turn to our Bible, friends, and, and the Word of God will explain to us what part of the body is exposed, God considers his nakedness. And turn with me to Exodus chapter 28, reading verse 42. Exodus chapter 28. And we're going to look at verse 42. And we need to know what God has to say, that what parts of our body is exposed, he considers nakedness. Exodus 28 and verse 42. And notice what the Bible says. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness, from the loins even unto the, unto, the, unto the ties they shall reach. So the Bible says that 
They should make what? Linen breaches to cover their what? Nakedness. And in order to cover their nakedness, this linen, um, uh, um, to this, this, um, linen breaches that they should make should go from the loins even onto their thighs. Now we need to ask the question, where is the thigh area and where is this loin area? And I went ahead and I checked Webster. Webster says that the loins is the pubic area. So if we want to cover our nakedness, our pubic area has to be covered. Amen? Amen. The Word of God says it, right? If we want to cover our nakedness, we need to cover our ties. Amen? Where's our tie? Webster says that the tie is the area between the hip and the knee. The hip and the knee. We want to cover nakedness, we're going to cover the pubic area from the hip to the knee. We're covering our nakedness. Notice what the Bible also says in Isaiah 48, 47. Look at that verse 1 to 3. Isaiah chapter 47. Turn with me, friends. Isaiah chapter 47. Isaiah chapter 47, looking at verse 1 and 3. Isaiah chapter 47, we're looking at verse 1 through verse 3. And the Bible says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin and daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, no daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the milestones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. The Bible said that once upon a time he was considered, she was considered, she was considered a, a virgin, a virgin daughter. And thou shalt no more be considered tender and delicate. And we know that her nakedness, if her nakedness is to be exposed, he said that to uncover and make bare the leg, and uncover the, uncover the, the thigh, and by doing so, the Bible said that her nakedness would be exposed. Now when you look and understand which area of the body is considered the leg, And I take Webster again. Webster says, from the top of the thigh to the foot. To the foot. So we're looking from the top of the thigh all the way down to the foot. Okay? So if we go ahead and those areas are exposed, the Bible considering that we're exposing our nakedness. Remember when God made Adam and Eve and they sinned? That God made coats, friends. Well, the reason why I made coats is the reason why I made coats. And the coat covers your entire body, covers your nakedness. And these areas that are exposed, the Bible considers it nakedness, friends. That our nakedness are being exposed. Notice what it says. It is plain that God wants most of our flesh to be covered. Uh, covered. Leviticus abounds with warnings against uncovering the nakedness of people. That's Leviticus chapter 18. Because this sign of intimacy was only for legitimate, lawful married partners. It is no compliment to a person's spirituality that they wear revealing fashions, go mix women, or in other ways flaunt their nakedness. Modesty is always in style from 1 Timothy verse 2 and verse, chapter 2 and verse 9 uh, confirms that. Confirm, con conversely, form-fitting dresses, gouges and tents, and various forms of nakedness as swimsuits, shorts, sunsuits, bare chests, front skirts, mini skirts, unbuttoned um, shirts and blouses, etc. sent a wrong message about the wrong inner character. Why would anyone professing Christ appear in a state of dress that scripture associates with fallen nature, drunkenness, 